Hi, I'm Eileen Marquez, writing for 60 and Me on my Knowing Myself series. And as it turns out, managing Annoying Me is a full-time job. It's also the most rewarding job I have ever done. So now that I know how to manage myself and take care of myself, what's next? What happens? Well, in this last episode, I'm going to talk about making conscious choices coming from a loving place of loving me and how to stay the course. The overarching discovery for me in writing the series over the last five months was that I did not value myself. And if I didn't value myself, how could others value me? As a very famous woman, creator of a magical world said, it takes a great deal of courage to stand up to your enemies, but even more to stand up your friend, to stand up to your friends, JK Rowling, and to stand up to your family. And I have learned to do that because I come from a loving place of caring for myself first. Setting new patterns is paramount to doing anything different. It takes three months to get a new pattern set. For me, sometimes it takes a little longer. What matters today is that I stop searching for the answers and begin living in the question of knowing what I need and want and who I am. I make conscious choices, and I have found that it boils down to three ways of looking at situations or addressing them. And I have to really do this situation by situation. The first is to choose to let it go. And here I invoke Goldilocks. Remember, she was trespassing. Does this belong to me? Is it mine to worry about? Am I overstepping? What am I holding on to? What territory am I in that I shouldn't be in? So I really try to let something go. If I can't let it go, and this is the real tricky one, I address it. I am a world-class gunslinger. I put out my gun and I shoot it. And I have to be very careful to step back and think about the pattern. Think about if it was what I did, if it's another. Do I see the whole 360, the whole view of what's going on? And also, was it true injustice done or just my feelings hurt? And if my feelings are hurt, I have to deal with that by letting it go, you know, figuring out why it bothers me and not getting myself into those situations again. So there's a lot of questions under address it. You know, what's my responsibility? What can I change? Why do I value this person, place, or thing that gets me upset? And sometimes it has nothing to do with whatever is going on. I just have to know that I have to look at the situation differently. It's a belief I'm bringing to it. So that's tricky to address it, but you can do it. And finally, we all can do better moving forward. Oprah Winfrey's very good friend, Maya Angelou, says, when you know better, you do better. Who am I to rewrite Maya Angelou? I'm someone who knows and loves herself. So my rewrite is, when I know better, I choose to do better. And that's because choice is a critical element for me. It helps me to stay the course. It helps me to put back into my life what I let go and puts me in the driver's, driver's seat. So what's next? Next time my soulmate comes along, I'll be ready. But I will not be waiting. I will be living the question of what I need and want in my life. And I will be enjoying every step of that journey. I will celebrate the most important relationship I have, the one with myself. See you next time.